What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today's a good day because we have the Ionic Hair Dryer. This is a 1400 watt brushless motor blow dryer with three heat and three speed settings, two nozzles, noise reduction, intelligent constant temperature for salon, home, and travel. And we just think this thing is a super cool product guys. So we are going to give it a look today. This is made by a company called ULESM, and we have the model number WY602-A here today. This has 1400 watts of peak power, and it just comes in a box just like this, so we're going to get straight into it. So if you look here, there's just a little plastic tab on the side here. Get the plastic off of here, just like that. a pretty good sized box here guys this isn't no slouch so we have this tape on the side so we're going to get into that now that we got through the top we're just going to open this flap just like this and these two flaps on the side and then we can slide it right out just like that and then it just kind of unfolds here there's a little folding Trifold on the side, which is pretty nice. This thing's kind of cool. So we're going to flip that open and it looks just like this inside the box. So inside of here we have some instructions or reading material as you can see by the big instructions label on the side there. And then it has lots of different things of what's happening with this thing. We're going to go over the tech specs later, but first we want to give you a look. So this is the, the new wave of blow dryers. This is the new cool. And this thing, if you can see here, we take the plastic off. If you look down inside of it, there's no fan inside of there. There's nothing inside of there for you to get your finger stuck inside of. So that is kind of cool. Which automatic, to me, makes it cooler because it's going to reduce um, some issues that we have with regular blow dryers, like lint and dust getting stuck inside of them. And this thing is super high tech, so we're not going to have that problem. There's a little strap over that, so we just pull these out. These are the two adapters that you have. So they have these flaps on there, and then on the inside you can see like this cone shape with the seal on there, and that's going to seal it off pretty good so that all the air escapes right out of this port. And then we have another one as well. This one's just a little bit bigger, but the same concept. You got that seal on there, and then the two holes here. Kind of creates that vortex, and then the area there where it can come right through the port. So if we take this bottom piece out, we can see this little black strap that's holding it down inside of there. This is just a little piece of Velcro that's going all the way around the cord, so we have to get through that. So now that it's out of that box, we can take it out of this one. It's a pretty heavy duty box, very good for shipping. So we see here, we just had that piece of Velcro, that was what was holding it down in the box. On the back side of the plug, we noticed that it does have the GFCI built in, so you have the test and the reset buttons here. And then we have the Velcro strap right here. So that's so we can keep our cord tidy when it's not in use. It is a pretty premium cable that this thing comes with. This thing's pretty heavy duty. It's not some cheap materials. So we just have the protective plastic around here. We can take that off, slide that off. And then if you look inside of here, this is where like our dust filtration port is going to be, right inside of this area. We just have a power button, we have span, fan speeds, and then this button's going to adjust our temperature. And that's it, that's what it looks like. These are our different adapters, and these are magnetic, which is super duper cool with that seal on there. If we just get it close, it wants to suck it right in there. So those are magnetic, and those are really neat. Then we have this one. You can see how strong that magnet is. I can hold it by the, by the adapter, and it's not going to fall off. So that's a pretty tough magnet that holds it on and then it's got that rubber seal as well that's going to help seal it up. So we're going to get this thing plugged in and show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm here and I brought my wife today because she's going to blow dry her hair. I don't have enough hair for you guys to see how well this thing works. So we're going to do it that way. So we're just going to get her to blow dry her hair so you guys can see how well this thing operates. So here we go. How's it feel? It's really nice. You can see this thing is supposed to keep the frizz down, and that's the big mm -hmm. thing about this. 
is that when your hair, when you have long hair like this, you get that frizziness inside of your hair. And this thing's supposed to do a really good job of keeping that down. Let's go ahead and take the adapter off. Let's see what it does with that. So we have the controls here, and if you look on this, you can see that this one here just turns it on. It's real simple. If you hit this one here, you're going to be able to adjust your fan speed. And with that, it's pretty cool. And then this one adjusts the heat. Right here is your intake. So if you look down here, that's where it pulls in the air. Once the air gets pulled in, it just gets thrown up through the shaft and right out here. So this is a super cool design. How does it feel with uh, no adapter on it? more wind but not too bad I like it this is the new odd item guys super cool like I said you can stick your finger right inside of here there is a there is no fan blade I can stick my finger right in there it's actually coming through these little vent ports right here where all the air is coming from and it's super directed this thing gets very hot it's extremely hot right now so you can adjust that setting as well so that it's not so hot when you're using it. And then you do have these little cup holder adapters. These cup holders are going to be magnetized. So if you see here, you can just clip this right on there and it sticks. And then she can make her adjustments based off of how much she needs for each one of these uh, adapters. Go ahead and try, your hair is almost dry, huh? you can see it doesn't take very long for it to dry your hair at all it's almost done already so this thing is pretty cool does it seem like it's easier to brush your hair out with this yeah and it almost straightens it and there's no there's uh, no frizz so she's saying, I don't know if you can hear as well because she is not mic'd up, but she's saying that there's no frizz and it almost feels like it's straightening the hair out real easily. So it gives you a totally different effect than a, a normal blow dryer would. 95% of the problems I hear from people is just that amount of frizz that you get in your hair, which is just that extra static. And this doesn't create that. It just kind of smooths it all out. Did you mess with the heat settings at all? No. Didn't really have to? No. So if we look, there's a normal blow dryer right here. And this, this is just our other normal option. So there's our normal blow dryer right there. And this blow dryer right down here is going to be, you know, your basic blow dryer. What, do you, what did you notice the biggest difference was in the, in the blow dryer quality? Um, I like the way that the handle is. Um, so the handle on this is just, it feels thicker almost. Um, this is a little bit more lightweight, but it's bulkier, whereas this one's, you know, for, for women who blow dry their hair daily or, you know, weekly, um, this one seems really nice. Okay, so it's got a better handle. It's got maybe a, a longer handle. We can definitely see that. If you look at the comparison there, if you look at the comparison of the handles, it's definitely longer. And just the head shape itself, I mean, it's definitely not longer as far as the head goes. So is it lighter? Definitely lighter? Um, it's a little bit lighter. Um, I, like, I like this feature here. Um, this helps with the frizz better than, than this one. Um, and for storage purposes, this stores better. So what she's saying is it's going to store a lot better just because it's smaller and... Uh, yeah, lighter though, right? For sure. So definitely lighter, definitely a little bit easier to use. And uh, like I said, this is all the rage, guys. This is this is the thing that uh, that everybody is wanting to use nowadays. So definitely yeah. worth checking out uh, for the price of this thing. We're gonna get into some tech specs, guys. Okay, guys. So why should you choose this blow dryer? Well, there's no more annoying noise while drying hair. This thing is pretty quiet. And it comes with the ALCI safety plug to maximize the safety for your family. It's got two magnetic molding nozzles with a 360 degree rotation and they're very easy to attach and detach. You can turn these things in any direction you want them to be in. Which my wife, as you can see from the video, chose to just keep it in this direction and that's perfectly fine too. 
The cool part is, is they're magnetically attached. That is super fantastic. I love magnets and I love when companies use magnets in tech because they're great and they can be used for lots of different things. They reduce at least half of the drying time and they keep your hair from too much heat with the negative ions and intelligent temperature control technology. If you notice, she never even really had to mess with the heat control because it was able to pretty much automate itself in that direction. She didn't have to mess with it whatsoever. It's easy to press operating buttons, one for on and off, which is just this button right here, on and off, super simple. One for temperature control, which is this one right here, and you get three levels of heat, and you get one for speed of the wind. There's three levels of power there as well. And like I said, you really didn't. she really didn't have to mess with this thing too much. It was pretty good right out of the box. Specifications, the rated power is 1400 watts, which is amazing. Low noise, it's got less than 65 decibels. The motor speed's 120,000 RPMs. And it's on a US 110 to 120 uh, power cord, which is super cool. Uh, the power cord length is 2.7 meters or 106 inches. It only weighs in at 1.34 pounds, which is super light. Like we were saying before, this thing is very, very light. Um, the product size over, overall is a lot smaller than what you would see in a normal dryer. And she liked the fact that the handle was actually longer. Um, you do have the several different um, the nozzles as well, the two different nozzles. You can clean this filter regularly, which is super, super cool. We didn't really go over that a lot, but this filter just pops out. There's two little magnets in here as well. And you can just let this slide down, boom, and it's back in where it's supposed to go, just like that. So you pull this out, you clean off the lint and the dust right inside of there, and then you just let it pop right back into place. It only goes in one direction, which is fine. But it's all magnetically attached there as well, and that's super, super cool. So that's back in place. And then you got this little intake port, this little exit port right here. And like I said, it's these little nozzles on the inside that are going to allow us to um, extract the air. The air is going to come out of here. It's not going to come out of that center where a normal dryer would in the fan. Uh, you don't, don't want to use the dryer near the water because uh, this is not obviously going to be good inside of the water, but it does have that protection on here built in. Most homes also come with the GFCI uh, wall socket in their bathroom. Uh, feature ionic function, the hair blow dryer can release 20 millions of negative ions during drying. It helps moisturize the hair, eliminating the static electricity in the hair, which creates those split ends and the frizz. It contributes to shinier hair, making your hair more manageable. My wife said it just kind of feels like it uh, straightened her hair for her, which is super cool. 1400 watt high power brushless motor. The built in high speed brushless motor can generate the speed up to 120,000 RPM minutes for the fast drying, making the air outlet wind speed up to 19 miles per second. It's got that 360 degree rotary magnetic nozzles. It comes with two concentrating nozzle attachments. The attachments uh, are magnetic, which is super cool. So they're easy to put on, take off, making them switchable and easy to detach. It's got that filter for cleaning, which we showed you. It's on the bottom handle, makes it super easy and it prevents hair or dust drawn into the duct. You just only regularly clean the dryer. Uh, with the ALCI safety plug, the U.S. standard safety plug is to ensure the safety of you and your family once the short circuit caused by leakage and avoid heat damage to the machine. So what do you get? Well, you get one iconic hair dryer, you get a smooth nozzle, a modeling nozzle, and a user manual. And you, the features and details of this thing are just amazing. I mean, this thing is very, very, very cool. These guys really thought out this process and... Uh, made this thing very, very cool. So the negative ion technology can effectively reduce the static electricity and split ends. And that's the, that's the biggest thing about this that just kind of blows a normal blow dryer right out of the water is that. Um, th thanks to the hollow leafless technology, it can not only avoid your hair getting sucked into the hair dryer during drying, but also amplify the surrounding air to form a strong airflow. The temperature of the air outlet is detected 56 times per second to achieve constant temperature, reducing moisture loss and overheating, which can create damage to the hair. It's got a built-in sound insulation air inlet device, 
and the German PI sound absorbing material. The noise is as low as 65 decibels, ensuring not to interfere with your child's rest from blow drying your hair. The inhaled airflow will pass through the sound installation device on both sides to reduce the sound generation, so as to solve the noise problem of a traditional fan blade hair dryer. It's got five out of five stars on Amazon, and we think this thing is just absolutely fantastic for the price. It may seem like a lot of money, but ultimately, I think this thing is just built very strong. It's durable. It's not going to come apart. It doesn't flex or bend easily. Um, it's all just like one seemingly seamless body. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room for flex or, or things like there would be in a normal hair dryer. Just not having those fans exposed is massive. And it's kind of cool look and it's got this nice gray body with this orange little chrome design as well. Like I said, normal wall outlet. It's got this tidy little Velcro strap. Everything about it is very cool. What do we think? Five stars. 100% definitely get a hold of one of these. If you're the type of person that has these frizzy hair moments, even if you're a guy that likes to blow dry your hair, this thing is going to be 100% worth it. You guys are able to get one if you click on the link down below. Make sure to check out jmedia1.com. You're going to find some cool tech stuff on there that you won't find anywhere else. We also have a podcast. Check out our podcast at jmedia1. If you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button, subscribe, and click on the bell so you guys can see when we're releasing new tech videos all the time. And we will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.